My name is Robert Gregory. I'm a uranium geologist with the Wyoming State Geological Survey. I am standing in front of the Pumpkin Buttes. They are located in the Powder River Basin of beautiful Campbell County, Wyoming. And from a distance, there are four of them. North Butte, North Middle Butte, South Middle Butte, and South Butte. J.D. Love made a major uranium discovery right here in the Pumpkin Buttes area. Dave, as we used to call him, uh, was not only a really nice guy, he was an excellent geologist, a very prolific geologist. Dr. Love was following up on a notion that uranium might not have come from hydrothermal deposits alone. They had another idea that uranium may have come from volcanic ash deposits, much like what we see here at Pumpkin Buttes. Uh, what the geologists at the USGS did is they flew over this area with special equipment that could detect radiation coming from things like uranium. What they ended up finding was very encouraging. They found a lot of areas referred to as hot spots. Based on those hot spots, they then followed up with field work on the ground. They came across some very nice deposits and made a very rich discovery back in November of 1951. This not only led to more discoveries of uranium in other Wyoming basins, but also led to uranium fever, which pitted prospectors seeking to find their fortunes out here against the landowners who had been here for generations. Governor Millward Simpson alerted the National Guard to help keep the peace. At that time, the federal government was, was seeking uranium because of their nuclear weapons program. Federal government was eager to find uranium and uranium deposits, specifically the Atomic Energy Commission, also known as the AEC. They had a guaranteed price for uranium ore, and also they had bonuses for the discovery of new deposits. The prospectors saw a golden opportunity to seek their fortunes. Ranchers formed a coalition of landowners. They declared that prospectors would have to pay them royalties on anything they were able to find in this area. Ultimately, the Wyoming Supreme Court declared that coalition illegal and prospecting was allowed to commence in the fall of 1955. Fifty million years ago, this landscape was very flat, very broad. Uh, it consists of a lot of tuffaceous deposits, sediments and volcanic ash that form from volcanic eruptions. It worked its way into the subsurface and into sandstones, and that's what prospectors were finding at the surface. They could use Geiger counters and find nice rich deposits right at the surface, much like J.D. Love found back in 1951. This is called a cinelometer, or also known as a Geiger counter. It measures various types of radiation. I'm going to put the probe near a, a known radioactive rock. And if you listen, you can hear the beeps get much more rapid. And if you look on the scale here, that needle's going off of the end of the scale. The pumpkin butte is very culturally significant as well as geologically significant. <laughs> 